Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this poster inside of Photoshop. Yes, right inside Photoshop. So if you are new to this channel, the sci-fi and fantasy PSD pack and also the smart premium designer pack alongside the Corel Draw templates is still very much available. You can get the link, get yours in the description of the video right if you have not subscribed to my channel now is the right time to hit the subscribe button so you miss any of the videos i will drop in any time for now without having to say much let's get started so the first thing i like to do is click on file and i'm just going to impute my settings here so the first one i'm going to use is i'm just going to put in um a film poster here like this and resolutions these are 300 transparent 4x5 and i'm going to click on create like this which brings me into my Photoshop interface. The first thing I'm going to do is click on Adjustment Layer and I'm going to click on Solid Color. I'm going to use this shade of red. You can copy my color code. I'm not specific about the kind of red to use. Let's make sure it's as dark as mine is. I'm going over to my resource file where I would get this image. So the link to download the resource file is also in the description of this video. So you don't want to miss checking the description of this video. So I'm just going to reduce the size or rather increase the size to fit this canvas like this. And when I have it in the right position, I'm going to have it this way, right? I'm going to create a new layer and I'm just going to use this shade of red. You can copy my color codes from this point, right? A darker shade of this red, that's what I'm using. I'm going to make my brush bigger and I'm just going to paint here. My flow is set to 100. Right, so I'm just going to paint here like this and um, also you can see it's like I'm making something that looks like an arc. Create another new layer, double click on this, I'm going to use a much more darker color than the first one I used. Just so to imitate um, the areas that the light will hit and all of that. So if you've not seen this, I did some things like this in my previous video. Create another new layer like this and I'm going to select this red and I'm going to go to the lighter version of this red. Now this will be the highlights for the background. That's the areas that the lights would normally hit. So this is where our light source is. So you can see how I've been able to manage my environment around this composition that I'm trying to build with this few lighting group all of this and i'm just going to name this bg like this and um now that i have this in place i'm clicking here um i'm going to use my brush on a new layer my flow is set to 100 make sure you're using a white color new layer white make sure the size of the brush is this small change it to dissolve like this Ctrl T and reduce the size like this. Ctrl T again. Um, duplicate this to make a different copy of it. Ctrl J. And um, now you have this in place. You can make several copies of it, maybe like twice. I'm just going to do this twice. And I'm just going to merge layers as, as one. Right? So I have this. Ctrl T now to activate the transform. Right click and click on perspective. I'm going to take this angle here and I'm going to twist it like this to create this spray like effect that you're seeing like this. I'm just going to make sure that I'm getting the spray very well like this. And when I'm done, I'm just going to click enter like this. But we have two edges. So how do we get rid of this other one? I'm going to rotate this first and I'm going to direct it to the direction of the perfume itself and um, position it well. Click enter. Click on the mask, select my brush like this, and I'm going to erase the areas that I don't want, which is this part here like this, and all of this part here too, like this. So you can see I'm left with the realistic spray that I created. So this is like, I can make it bigger or you can choose to leave it in the size that it is currently, but I'm just gonna leave mine like this. Click enter when you're done. And um, the next thing I'm going to do to this is still selecting the spray, click on filter and um, 
click on filter i'm still selecting the spray um okay so um i think this is perfect okay um select this layer we're still working on the spray so what you want to do is go over to filter go to blow and go to gush and blow like this and make sure you're not doing too much make sure it's somehow realistic and click ok like this so you get something like this and i'm just going to move it closer with my arrow key just manually or you can do it by dragging it close to the perfume itself just make sure you are doing this the right way and yours is even more perfect than mine i'm going to go into my graphics design assets like you can see it's open here i'm inside the premium png i'm going to drag this image from inside the premium png for those of you that have not gotten your smart designer assets well i don't know what you're missing and i'm just going to select this and uh, i'm going to click on rasterize objects and under properties i'm going to click on remove background to remove this white background that it has here like this so you can see that i have tons of images to use from my smart designer premium assets so i can just go in there for any project and i can use any one of my choice right so I'm just going to wait till it removes the background from this image. And when it's done, you can see the background is gone. So I can click on it, right click and convert to smart object. Go to filter and go to blur, under blur, Gaussian blur. Apply um, Gaussian blur to this, click OK. What you want to do now is you want to make this bigger. Make this bigger, increase the size, and um, I think somewhere here is nice, somewhere here is good. Okay, so click enter when you're done. This is what you left with, and now this is where the magic actually begins. So let me move this downwards. I think it's okay like this. And um, the next thing I want to do is make this bigger i'm selecting the spray and the perfume bottle you can group them together if you want to it's actually fine right so make it bigger so that the hand is not um, enclosed inside of that material that you're seeing there so i can choose to even make this bigger and position this well the way i want it to be like this okay click enter when you're done and um Okay, I'm just going to move it slightly outward with my mouse or with my arrow key and um, it's all good. So the next thing I'm going to do is, um, let me see. So I can choose to bring in my text like this and everything is good, the red, because a naturally gold goes well with the red and also the yellow. So I can just have this, but this is not where I'm heading to, right? So stick with me. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to um, Q and saturation. On here I'm saturation, I'm just going to move this slider like this to change things around but it's going to be on top of um, the image and everything not on top of this material so i'm working with this first so i'm going to move it to the direction i want i think this is nice this is good i'm going to leave it here for now you can see how nice this has made this nice effect you can see it's already giving it that luxury look that i want I'm going to make this visible, but on top of this, I'm going to change this. I just made layer. I'm going to click on the hue and saturation like this. And um, yeah, hue and saturation, right click and create clipping mask. So it's affecting only the cloth fabric, right? That's a good material. I'm going to also change the direction of the hue to give it a different color approach, right? So I'm going to be using something around here. So I'm using minus 105, you can see, minus 105. Double click, I want to increase the Gaussian, uh, the radius of the blur. 
just like this, I think this is fine. So attention on the hand and the perfume and less attention on the material, right? You want to make sure that you guide your audience to ex the exact thing that you're trying to sell to them. So I'm going to in my resource file, I'm going to bring in my text, my type, and I'm um, just going to paste it here like this. Click enter when you're done. I'm just going to move it to the position where it's supposed to be. That is directly under this. Um, yeah. Behind the hand. Like this. Timeless, elegant, premium quality. Right? Nicely done. Okay, so um, the next thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to the top layer like this. I'm going to create a new layer here. I'm going over to my text tool or my type tool. And I'm just going to type something. And it's going to be order now. So it's like a call to action for this particular poster. So it's supposed to be for an ad. So I'm just going to change the font to something that they would understand when they see it. So I'm going to use Bang Gothic for this. Most of you always ask me what font did you use. It just shows that you didn't watch the video to an extent. Right? So I'm just going to move this here. And I'm going to increase this and position this well here, like this. And you can see that I have um, the same color as my background and everything going on. Um, let me just sort this out. I'm going to use 1600 for this and um, click enter when I'm done. Okay, this is what I have. So let's go back and work on the background because I don't like the way I'm seeing that everything is just looking the same, the same color flow and everything. And um, so what do I do? I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to play with the hue for the background. So voila. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to use the other one for the color of, you can see how you can even play with this. You can use any color of your choice. You can play with these elements. Now, this is the beauty of Photoshop, right? I can choose to make several copies of this brightness to increase the brightness. And I can choose to make several copies of this to add more contrast to where I have my shadows, right? So this is what I have going on. Several, you can see how that area behind the hand is looking darker. So that's exactly what I want to achieve. So right about now, Control alt shift e is what you press to make a snapshot. Convert to Smart Objects and go over to Camera Raw. And inside of Camera Raw, what I'm just going to do is just make it pop. Now, how do you make things pop very easy? I'm just going to bump up some sliders. I'm starting with um, the texture. I'm just going to bump this up. And also the clarity, I'm just going to add a little bit of clarity to it. And lastly, I'm just going to click OK like this and I'm good to go. So guys, this is how I created this elegant poster inside of Photoshop. If you've liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, now is the best time to subscribe. So you miss any of the videos I'll be dropping anytime for me. I'll see you in the next video. Love you all.